So, Nikon is gearing up to redefine the camera game in 2025 and beyond with a powerful lineup of upcoming mirrorless models. From the global shutter-equipped Nikon ZX to the cinema-focused Nikon Z6V and high-speed Nikon Z8 II, these cameras promise next-gen performance for photographers and filmmakers alike. If you're looking for the best upcoming Nikon cameras, this lineup covers the most exciting releases and rumors to watch from Nikon. The Nikon ZX, a highly anticipated mirrorless camera, is set to challenge industry giants with a speculated price range of $5,500 to $5,800, undercutting Sony's $6,000 A9 III while offering comparable innovation. Nikon's pricing strategy, seen in the Z9's 5500 launch, aims to make advanced technology accessible, potentially attracting professionals from rival ecosystems. The Nikon ZX's standout feature is its 20.4 megapixel global shutter sensor developed with Sony, which captures entire frames instantly, eliminating rolling shutter distortions. This is a game changer for sports and wildlife photographers, ensuring distortion-free images of fast-moving subjects like speeding cars or soaring birds. With a 0.4 millisecond readout speed, the sensor enables flash sync at 1 12,000th of a second, allowing precise captures in dynamic lighting. Though its resolution is lower than 50 megapixel competitors, it prioritizes speed and efficiency, ideal for high-volume shoots. Physically, the Nikon ZX inherits the Z9's rugged magnesium alloy body and dual CFX Press card slots, ensuring durability and fast data handling. Its dual Xpeed 7 processors manage heat during 30-plus FPS bursts and power AI-driven autofocus, rivaling Sony's tracking capabilities. New features include flicker-free performance under artificial lights, perfect for indoor photography, and enhanced flash sync for studio work. While video is secondary, 4K support caters to hybrid shooters. Nikon's testing process involves lab prototypes and real-world trials with 50-plus professionals in 2026, ensuring reliability. The Nikon ZX's success hinges on its versatility, leveraging Nikon's Z-mount lenses to appeal to diverse shooters. However, by its rumored 2026 release, competitors may counter with advanced models, making autofocus and ergonomics critical. The Nikon ZX could redefine professional photography, blending innovation with Nikon's legacy of reliability. But its impact depends on delivering on these ambitious promises. Nikon Z8 II is set to build on the legacy of the 2023 Z8, a camera that won over photographers and videographers with its compact design and flagship level performance. Priced at an estimated $4,500, the Z8 II slots between the original Z8's $3,999 and the Z9's $5,999 offering a compelling option for professionals seeking high-end features without the flagship's bulk or cost. Nikon's acquisition of RED Digital Cinema fuels expectations for cinematic advancements, making the Z8 II a potential game-changer for hybrid shooters. The original Nikon Z8, impressed with its 45.7-megapixel stacked sensor, delivering sharp stills for portrait and landscape work, and 8K30P video for filmmakers. However, it faced challenges like overheating during extended video recording and limited battery life with the EN-EL15C, often requiring spares for long shoots. The Z8 II aims to address these with the Xpeed 7 processor, which enhances processing speed and efficiency. This chip could boost low-light performance to ISO 102400, ideal for night photography or indoor events and improve battery life to around 500 shots per charge, reducing downtime. For action shooters, the Z8 II is rumored to offer a 30 FPS raw burst mode with full autofocus tracking, outpacing the original's 20 FPS and rivaling the Canon R5's speed. A new pre-capture feature might store images before the shutter is fully pressed, perfect for capturing unpredictable moments like a sprinter's start or a bird's takeoff. On the video front, 
the Nikon Z8 II is expected to push boundaries with 8K 60P recording, a significant leap from the Z8's 8K 30P. Supported by internal 12 bit and RAW and ProRes RAW formats for robust post production workflows, oversampled 4K 120PP footage could deliver smooth slow motion for cinematic projects, while improved thermal management, possibly using graphene based cooling aims to prevent overheating during long 8K sessions, addressing a key weakness of the original and challenging the Canon R5C's reliance on external fans. Autofocus enhancements include an AI-driven 3D Tracking Plus system for precise subject tracking in dynamic scenes and refined eye detection AF that differentiates between humans and animals, benefiting portrait and wildlife shooters alike. The camera world thrives on rumors, and the latest buzz surrounds the Nikon ZFR, a supposed high-resolution, retro-style mirrorless camera. Positioned as a successor to the Nikon ZF, the ZFR is rumored to pair vintage aesthetics with modern specs. However, its existence is now being questioned, with some sources claiming the camera is pure fabrication. Let's explore the details and controversies surrounding this intriguing rumor. Early leaks suggest the Nikon ZFR will build on the Nikon ZF's classic design while addressing its flaws, like poor grip and limited burst speed. The standout rumored upgrade is a 60 megapixel full frame sensor, aiming to rival the Sony A7R5 and Canon R5. If true, the ZFR would cater to photographers focused on resolution and detail, ideal for landscapes, portraits, and studio work. Some sources also mention the possibility of 16-bit RAW recording, a feature typically seen only in medium format systems. This would be a huge leap for Nikon, but it raises doubts given current sensor limitations. There's also speculation about 8K video, which would appeal to hybrid shooters, though heat management in a compact retro body could be problematic. With rumored features like a high-res sensor and premium design, the ZFR is expected to fall in the $3,000 to $4,000 range. That would place it firmly in the pro-level market, alongside Sony and Canon's high-end offerings. A possible release window is late 2026, or early 2027, indicating it may still be in development. The ZFR rumor has sparked controversy due to its origin from a site accused of spreading fake camera news. With no leaked images or Nikon confirmation, Many suspect the ZFR is simply wishful thinking. Still, Nikon's recent success blending retro style with modern tech means a camera like this isn't entirely far-fetched. Whether real or imagined, the Nikon ZFR rumor reflects the passion and speculation that drive the camera community. What's your take? Is the ZFR a dream camera or a digital ghost? Nikon's partnership with Red Digital Cinema is already shaking up the camera industry. And now, rumors of a new hybrid camera, the Nikon ZR, are turning heads. Slated for a late 2025 launch, the ZR is expected to blend RED's cinema DNA with Nikon's mirrorless tech, potentially redefining what creators can expect from a sub $5,000 camera. Let's take a look at what we know so far. The Nikon ZR is rumored to be Nikon's first mirrorless camera truly built with video at its core. Based on the same 24.5 megapixel partially stacked sensor as the Z63, it could offer impressive 6K video performance. What really sets it apart? Red Code RAW. That's right, internal 6K Red Code RAW, along with NRAW and Apple Pro Res formats, giving creators pro level flexibility in post production. Add built in LUT support and real-time color grading, and you've got a tool clearly made for serious video work. Early leaks suggest a compact, EVF-less, brick-style design, similar to Sony's FX3. The ZR may also feature a large articulating screen over 3.5 inches, ideal for rig setups. Expect efficient heat dissipation and multiple mounting options, including Nikon's Z-mount and FTZ2 adapter for legacy lenses. A PL mount adapter could also be in the mix. Thanks to Nikon's acquisition of RED, the Nikon ZR might inherit major RED tech, like extended dynamic range, more efficient RAW workflows, and possibly even electronic ND filters. 
While a global shutter remains unlikely at this price, the partial stacked sensor should reduce rolling shutter artifacts significantly. At an estimated $4,500, the ZR would sit between Sony's FX3 and RED's Komodo X. Its real edge? RED code RAW recording internally, something few cameras in this class offer. However, Nikon must make it intuitive enough for solo creators and indie filmmakers, without RED's typical steep learning curve. The Nikon ZR could be a game changer if the rumors hold true. It promises a fusion of cinematic power and mirrorless versatility that's rarely seen at this price point. Nikon is back with something bold, the upcoming Z6 V, also known as the Z63 Cinema Edition. Expected in late 2025, this isn't just an upgrade. It's Nikon's clearest signal yet that it's all in on hybrid filmmaking. By fusing Nikon's optics with RED's cinematic tech, the Z6V could be a dream camera for creators who need pro-level video in a portable mirrorless body. Let's break down what's coming. The Nikon Z6V abandons the EVF and embraces a modular design similar to Sony's FX3. Think compact, rig-friendly, and built for long video shoots. It features heat vents, multiple mount points, and a redesigned grip for better handling. The layout includes video-centric controls like tally lights and a dedicated ISO dial, perfect for fast-paced filming. Inside, it houses the same 24.5-megapixel partially-stacked CMOS sensor from the Z63. It's not fully stacked like the Z8, but it offers a 3.5x faster readout than the Z62. That means full-width 6K-60P capture, 20fps RAW stills, and internal RED code RAW recording. Yes, the same format RED cameras use. It also supports NRAW, ProRes, and 16-bit color depth for serious flexibility in post. The Z6V is a filmmaker's toolkit in one camera, RED color, science for cinematic tones, DCI4, K recording, anamorphic support, shutter angle control, false color, internal ND filters, and gyro-based stabilization with Catalyst Browse compatibility. Whether you're on a gimbal or handheld, this camera adapts. Nikon ups the game with 32-bit float audio, dual USB-C ports for SSDs, and XLR SDI via an adapter, and next-gen wireless with Wi-Fi 6E. There's even camera to cloud, support for real-time uploads to Frame, Dio, or Adobe. At $3,499, the Z6V slots between the Z63 and RED's Komodo X. It challenges the Sony FX3 and Canon R5C by offering features they can't, like internal NDs and RED's color pipeline. The only catch? No EVF, and likely shorter battery life under heavy use. The Nikon Z6V isn't just a hybrid camera, it's a statement. If it delivers, it might set a new bar for what a sub-4K dollar cinema-focused mirrorless camera can be. Big news for action shooters. Nikon is rumored to be developing a Z9H, a high-speed flagship aimed at professionals who need absolute speed and precision. Think sports, wildlife, and high frame rate photography. Leaked prototype images have recently surfaced, and while they may not be final, they hint at Nikon's bold move into global shutter territory. The headline feature? A Husege Snegi, tized megapixelous full-frame sensor Serinti Olvasasi Sebeseg Nula Eges Negi TZ Millimasudperk. That's insanely fast, and crucial for eliminating rolling shutter distortion. Add in rumored flash sync up to 1 2,000ths, and the Z9H starts sounding like a dream tool for sports photographers who rely on strobes to freeze motion. Nikon is said to be using dual Xpeed 7 processors, offering massive data throughput and reliable performance, even if it's not their latest Xpeed 8. The goal here is clear, speed over resolution and reliability over experimental tech. Prototype images show a slightly more compact body than the Nikon Z9, along with a few notable design tweaks. There's a new top-left dial, 
possibly for quick access functions, and a mysterious new port that could hint at ultra-fast tethering or data transfer. The EVF housing looks bigger, possibly to accommodate a high refresh rate viewfinder, essential for tracking fast-moving subjects. While it's not chasing 8K like Sony's A7R6, the Z9H is expected to excel in 4K video, offering minimal rolling shutter and top-tier autofocus. With the Sony A9 III already showcasing global shutter, Nikon looks ready to join that elite club. Expected around early 2026, the Z9H will compete directly with Sony's A9 III and Canon's R1. Pricing is still unknown, but this will be a premium tool, likely priced alongside other flagship models. If Nikon delivers what the rumors promise, the Z9H won't just be another camera, it could be a speed-focused game-changer. Nikon is making waves with its most advanced sensor yet, a revolutionary stacked CMOS design capable of capturing 4K video at 1,000 frames per second. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't just about speed, it's about reimagining what's possible in photography and videography. From unmatched dynamic range to a unique square format, this sensor could redefine entire workflows. Ultra-high speed recording has typically been locked behind expensive niche gear like the Phantom Flex. Nikon's new 1-inch stacked CMOS sensor changes the game by delivering 4K at 1000 FPS in a more accessible form factor. Whether it's capturing the flurry of a hummingbird's wings or split-second sports action, this sensor makes the invisible visible. Even more impressive is its dynamic range, 110 decibels at 1,000 frames per second, stretching to 134 decibels at 60 frames per second. That's unheard of. Thanks to a dual-layer sensor architecture, Nikon enables real-time exposure control across different areas of the image, keeping both highlights and shadows rich in detail, even under tricky lighting. Its 25.4 by 25.4 millimeter square shape, slightly larger than APS-C, opens new doors. For content creators, the ability to shoot 4K by 4K video natively in vertical or horizontal formats without rotating the camera means easier framing for social media and faster turnaround. It's also perfect for 360 degrees in VR applications, offering broad coverage and sharper immersive content. At the core is Nikon's stacked CMOS architecture, built for lightning-fast data readout without sacrificing image quality. The dual-layer approach also boosts HDR performance, adjusting exposure live so nothing's too bright or too dark, reducing post-processing time significantly. Of course, real-world integration comes with challenges. Heat management and data throughput are major engineering hurdles. But whether it lands in mirrorless systems, pro DSLRs, or 360-degree rigs, this sensor is a quantum leap in imaging tech. So, this was our latest news about upcoming Nikon cameras. Which one are you most excited for? Share with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.